For this video, we're going to show you how to set up the Halo PSA integration. Getting right into it, we're going to select the admin tab at the top, go to our integrations under account administration, and select our integration of choice. From there, these are the items that we're going to be pulling from Halo, and we're going to switch over to our Halo instance in a second to show you where to find these key sources and how to complete the rest of the process. Now we are within our Halo instance. On the sidebar here, we're going to scroll all the way down to configurations. From there, we're going to find the integration second from the bottom. Click that here. And now we can either select the Halo PSA API or find it right here. Clicking into that, we're going to view the application and create a new one. Now we're going to name this the Hoodoo integration. And we're going to select a couple options. Make sure that this is active. We have client and secret services and be sure to keep the client secret. This will go away the second you are all done with this page. So before we do anything, I recommend saving this. In my case, I'm going to highlight and put this directly in to my Hoodoo instance. I have my key in there. I'm going to go back to our Halo PSA and continue with the rest of the options. Before we move on, make sure we have a agent selected and a proper user. In this case, I'm using the same user that I currently am logged in as, and we recommend you doing the same. We're going to go into our permissions. And from there, we're going to be looking for a couple items. The first one is going to be a read customers and then scroll down to the bottom and we're going to look for read assets. Here we go. Now that we have that selected, we can then hit the save button. Now that we have that saved, we're going to add the rest of the items into our Halo PSA integration. We're going to need our resource server, tenant, client ID, and now's the time to input your client secret if you haven't already. Going back into Halo, we have our client ID right here. We're going to highlight that, copy it, and place it right into my instance. There we have our number, and now we're going to find our resource server and tenant. If you are self-hosted, you do not require a tenant. Leave this blank as you, if you do fill it out with self-hosted, the connection error uh, will appear. Going right into it, we're going to find these items by selecting the Halo PSA API here on the left side under integrations. Here at the top, we have our resource server. So I'm going to highlight this immediately and add this to my resource server at the top. As a note, be sure that there are no spaces before any of the items as you're copying them in, or else this will cause a failure when testing your connection. Here is the sandbox option that we have. Bring that in and put that in as our tenant. Now with those items in check, we have everything we need, and it's time to align what our Halo integration will be connecting to within Hoodoo. Starting off by default, this is networks, but we want it to be people instead. And we have our sites will be matched or inserted in, but for this case, it makes more sense to have that as our clients. Below, we can skip certain items. We're gonna skip inactive accounts, leave contacts, locations, and assets, and save the setting. From there, we can now test our connection, and we can see that this was successful. At any point so far, if there is a failure, the best way to check is to make sure you have your key copied incorrectly no spaces before or after that cause an unnecessary character to register, and be sure that you're copying these exactly. Any line missing from this will cause a failure, and be sure that we're going to be syncing, that these are lined up to your liking, or else we'll have to rematch those down the line. Going back though, we're going to start our first sync. Clicking the start button here, we're going to start our sync. Currently we have zero matches, but after giving it a minute, we should be able to see this populate with ours coming in from Halo. Skipping forward, I'm just going to refresh the page. And here we have 10 matches. So now we get to bring these companies from Halo into Hoodoo. So the suggestion here is going to identify already existing companies brought over from the Halo integration, or it will automatically create one with the same name if it's not found. This does check for the exact spelling across the board, so if you know that you have the similar company, 
maybe there's just a little different character change, you can change the match and assign it to whichever company you want. In this case, we have everything. This all looks great. And we can do a bulk create slash match for all. At any point, if you do have a company that doesn't match the name and you just want to auto create, this button will take care of that as well. Automatically match 10 companies. Yes. So now we have some of these. Not all of them came through as not all of the companies did exist, but we do have them. Oh, sorry. Just took a quick second to catch up. So we have these all matched now. Going back, we're going to go into our Halo PSA, and we're going to do another sync, and this will bring in all of our items. Stopping the sync and just restarting it for a moment, giving it a second and refreshing. So we'll see that we only have one come in right now, and this may be because other items are being brought in, or still syncing, or if we check our edit settings, this may also be a situation of looking to bring in assets from Halo. Adding a sort rule, we can determine which items have been picked up from Halo. In this case, we'll say laptops. Connecting that on this side to, we'll connect it to laptops within Halo. Left side is identifying what's within Halo. Right side is going to identify our asset layouts within Hoodoo. We can create a brand new one if one doesn't quite match, but we're going to add a couple items here. Docking station matched with a PC peripheral. Just selecting some items so we can populate this into our same area so we can see what the data looks like coming in. We can add as many sort rules as we want. We're going to finish this up with our server. And in this case, we have our Mac server, so we're actually just going to keep this in our networking device. Saving our settings, we have everything coming in now. We did have our sync running in the background, but we have the additional security of knowing that the other items are being brought in. So we have our people, clients coming in, and other items when we rematch and resync. At any point, we can delete a card, delete the entire asset, and this will remove it from your instance, but let's make sure everything makes sense. Take a look at our top example, and here is the information coming in from Halo. At any point, you can resync a card, rematch this to another asset. We decide that this doesn't quite fit for this individual. We can match this as we please. We can also find an existing asset entry. So if you find duplicates or you have one already with the same name and it did not pick up what you wanted, you can reattach it to however you want. Going back into our integration, if you're finding that the information isn't coming back in or you're unable to find it, best recommend going into Halo and ident identifying how these entities are labeled within your instance, going into your edit settings, and adding sort rules to make sure that information is coming in. Saving those settings and restarting the sync will be a great way of making sure that those items are coming in and that things are working. At any point, if it seems like it's not updating, it's always best to test a connection. Testing your connection will make sure that nothing has broken in between. We can always go back and restart what we need, making sure that it works and testing it that way. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out, comment down below, or contact us at support at Thank you so much.